Hi, my name is Chloe from easywaytochange.co.uk. Now, do you actually know what a calorie is? So we always hear about the calorie content of food, but it's actually um, a unit of energy. It's the amount of energy that it takes to raise um, a gram of water by one degree Celsius. Now, the way that they determine the calorie content of food, and I remember doing this on my nutrition degree, is I remember we... Um, took a crisp and we set fire to it and we held it underneath a um, container of water and that's very similar to how you know the food industry and things like that will calculate the calorie content of foods literally burning it underneath a thing of water and seeing um, the amount of calories now this is such a crude way of doing things as if our bodies process food in the same way as burning something in air and you know seeing how much it heats up water it's such an oversimplification. It doesn't take into account the way that fats, carbohydrates and proteins are used and turned into energy in our bodies. Or, for example, the different speeds at which different foods release sugar into the bloodstream, which is a huge um, influence on um, how much of it we store as fat. So during the Second World War, an American scientist, very famous, called Ansel Keys, carried out a study whereby volunteers were put on this starvation diet. And they wanted to test basically the best way to rehabilitate prisoners of war when they got home and they'd been sort of starving basically. After a couple of weeks of this study, the, um, the, the participants of this study started to um, have real sort of psychological problems. A couple of them were admitted to the psychiatric ward. There were real issues with their motivation, with their energy levels, even things like their am ambition, their self-discipline. This completely went out the, the window, they were unable to focus, they were less alert, loads of problems. And they were on a 1500 calorie diet, which is the number of calories that is often recommended for weight loss, which you're supposed to sustain sort of for months or possibly years at a time, depending on how much weight you have to lose. So clearly this is not a long-term solution for anybody. So what's the answer? I'm going to make it sound easy, and I'm not, I'm not saying it is necessarily easy, but changing your relationship with food, cooking meals from scratch, managing your stress levels and emotions in a way that doesn't involve food, finding exercise that you love. So get some help with it. So whether it means, you know, learning to meditate, getting some counselling, coming to see a hypnotherapist, there are ways around this that doesn't involve trying to stick to a, a starvation diet which could potentially send you mad. Um, so get in touch if you'd like to talk about how hypnotherapy could help you to lose weight easily and permanently.